Animals are fed, eggs are collected. Welcome back to the channel. We got a ton of work that needs to be done with this tractor and we're running out of time very, very fast. Oh, I hate to even think about the amount of work that we have. However, we should be starting to go the other direction and start to put everything back together. With that said, we should be able to hone the rest of the cylinders out today. Hopefully, if all works out. And then we should be able to drop the sleeves in, which I doubt they're gonna just drop in. We started honing the first cylinder yesterday. If you watched the last video, if you didn't, you can go back and check that out. So we have to do all of these and get out some of them scoring marks the best that we can and you know clean the tops, get everything cleaned out as far as that goes. And then we can start the assembly process with putting everything back together. With all that being said, let's jump into it and start hunting these cylinders. So that time I went in reverse, still see that score mark there. Probably should have like a ball hone or something for this, take off more material, but again, I didn't realize that the block for the puller was gonna do that much damage. And when I say damage, I mean, it's not like it's completely just gouged, but enough that it bothers me. This is right out of the freezer. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I was hoping it would drop in, but it's not gonna. So, Should probably pull it back out. But that's good, it's gonna have a tight fit in there. So, and I think I'm gonna have to get a new home. I don't know why for whatever reason, but it almost has the stone wore off right here, mainly just on this one. The other ones are more thinner, but this is almost down to the metal. So I don't know why that did that. And I pretty much have all the, all the cylinders to do at this point. We pretty much have this one done. Otherwise the rest of them I still have to do. They're close, but they definitely need to hit some more, so. I think for the time being, I'll throw this back in the freezer and we'll try and heat that up a little bit. Really wish I had a better way of doing this. It's 
It's going in though. It definitely is. I just don't want to break the sleeve. It's the last thing I want to do because when you freeze them, they do get a little brittle. So I've heard anyway. It's definitely going in. I think we would have been a little better off heating that cylinder up just a little more than I did. I didn't go crazy with it and I probably should have heated it up hotter. I'd say I'm about halfway or close to it. I really don't like the wood idea, the wood block with it. I don't like that idea. It's pushing it in. It's just, I don't like, I just don't like it. So I have thought, I'm pretty sure I have a square piece of steel, flat plate steel somewhere. If I put that over the top and then take our puller here, I could probably use it as a press the reverse way. So I'll put a bigger block on the bottom, put that underneath the block, which is gonna be harder to, you know, get it in there with the crank in the way. But I can use this plate to push down on the square plate that we have up top here, and it should work as a press then, and just press it right down in. That's my theory. I'm thinking I might try that because that just seems like a better alternative than beating it into place with a mallet and a piece of wood. Okay. So this is what I've come up with. I put a big block on the bottom to, that way it can't come up the cylinder and it has no choice but to push against the bottom of the block. And then this should work as a press. I found that plate and it was a lot thicker than I thought. And the only option I really would have had was to, would have been able to drill a hole I would have had to drill a hole in it for the threads and you know you're talking a big hole in it's probably half inch thick so i didn't realize it was that thick and i'm not going to even try and drill a hole through that so not that i couldn't but i think this should work i just really wish it was putting weight you know the whole way around not kind of on edges so i'll see what it does if it starts getting really a lot of pressure on it, I might stop. Well, it's definitely pushing it in. It's not crazy tight either. I can spin it by hand, obviously. So it's sliding down in, down in, and this is obviously one big plate. So it's not like it's just pushing. It is pushing on the edges, but it's kind of spreading it through both sides. And so it's probably fine. I'm just kind of going easy because I don't want to break a sleeve. And then I got to end up pulling it back out and toys is work. And, and I got more money tied into it. So we're gonna go slow and steady and hope that everything is good to go. I will say though, I like this setup a lot more than I like that setup and beating on it. And we are in. That went a lot better than expected. And I think I would probably still be beating on it with that thing. That was a lot smoother, a lot better. 
in my opinion. So, that's one. Five more to go. I love seeing a brand new sleeve in there. Nice cross hatch. Those, the rest of these I have to clean out. I ended up having to get, as I said, I had to get a, a new hone or I needed a new hone because this one was worn down really bad. So I, that has a little bit of life left in it, but not much at all. So I'm going to run through these a little bit more with that one. And then I'm going to have to switch to the new one that I have and do it that way. I think this block here worked good, but it's right on the verge of being a little too big. So I think I'm gonna go down one more size. It'll still go well, well out past the, the cylinder bore and it'll just be less contact with anything. The cam that's in there and, you know, just kind of stay away from stuff just in case it turns or anything in there. So stoked about that, that that's, that's kind of going in the right direction, obviously. It actually cleaned up really nice. A little bit of brake cleaner and a scuff pad. You get all that kind of junk and old gasket oily junk off of there and makes it look really nice. Sleeve tolerance above the deck should be, it should be flush or I believe plus or minus is what it said. I think in the manual five to six thousandths. So we are, we should be golden with that. Just something so nice about a clean block clean head which is another thing we're gonna have to do and that's gonna take some time to do that we're getting there it's a good thing that we have the supervisor out here today making sure everything gets done right she's a little tired she's been on the job for a while but it's a good thing that she's here There's definitely something satisfying about new parts going in. Sleeve number two is in there. This is coming along. We're getting somewhere. I actually have to pound it in with that wood block right there before I can even put the puller back on there, mainly because the puller is just not quite long enough. So I have to get it down at least so far and get it started, which is better anyway, because then it starts straight and then you can kind of do what you need to do from there and then put the puller on once you get it down far enough and it's definitely not bad the this block i put a paper towel on it and you can slide it right down through the sleeve and then hook it that way so you're not trying to 
fiddle around trying to get a nut on down there between the crank and everything else because you can barely fit your hand in so yeah two cylinders done two sleeves are in we're starting to go the other way which is really nice and this is really satisfying actually i really enjoy doing this kind of stuff the problem being we're just kind of crunched for time so that's where i'm gonna cut it for the night it's almost seven o'clock this took a while to do and but you don't want to rush through any of this so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are enjoying the series because it's not over be sure to subscribe to the channel let's get to a thousand we're close let's hit a thousand and then we'll keep climbing from there thanks for watching i appreciate the support and i'll see you next time